Hey there, folks. Today I want to talk to you about bibs. So, it took me a while to get bibs for cycling. For the longest time, I wore regular cycling shorts. They did me fine. I liked them for the longest time. There were a few things about shorts that I didn't love. Uh, the fact that, you know, some, some of the shorts would ride down, some of the shorts just wouldn't necessarily fit you the way you'd like. And I'd seen a lot more serious cyclists were wearing bibs. I saw the price tags of some of these bibs and it scared me off initially. Some bibs cost in the neighborhood of 120, 150, maybe even 200 to $300 for the really high end ones. And I knew that I definitely didn't have the budget to go in on that. Now a year ago, I did buy my first set of bibs. It was the basically the lowest pair from the black bibs. And I liked them so much, I decided, you know, bibs are something I would like to switch to. Now, I didn't want to just go all in on the black bibs. I wanted to give some other bibs a chance. So for this video, I went and found three comparably priced pairs of budget bibs. And I'm going to show you the whole process of sizing to ordering, receiving, initially trying them on and doing a lot of riding in these bibs. I got these bibs all the way back in February. So I've been riding with them about four months now. So I like doing really long-term reviews just to make sure it's something that I put a lot of miles in and really get a feel for whether I like them. So today I'm gonna to present to you the battle of the budget bibs. Now, before I get into it, the one thing I wanna tell you is that I did buy all of these bibs. None of them were given to me and I'm gonna give you my complete honest review on the positives and the negatives. There's a few different metrics that I've chosen to present to you on what I like and what I don't like about these. And spoiler alert, I am wearing the bibs I liked the best. I'm not gonna reveal that until the very end, so stay tuned. So the three sets of bibs I ordered are as follows. The Perswalski Men's 3D Padded Cycling Bib Shorts from Amazon. And I did decide to order off of Amazon just because of how ubiquitous it is. Just about everybody orders things off of Amazon and they are by far the easiest to order from because you probably already have an account with them. So I decided to include those. I also got the Black Bibs by the Black Bibs, which is a company from Virginia. And I just got their basic Black Bib and the Suki Sports Cycling Bib Shorts Men's BS1606 which is sort of the basic offering from Suki Sports, which is a Chinese company. And all three companies do have a sizing chart available on their website. For this video, I had my wife help me take some measurements. I am about five foot 10, about 190 pounds. And on all of the sizing charts, they incidentally all said I was a large. I did try to check on a few different places whether their sizing runs large or small, but for all of these companies, I noticed the reviews said that the sizing was fairly accurate. So at the time that I ordered the Przewalski, I'm just gonna call them the Amazon bibs from here on out to make it simpler. They were $39 plus free Amazon shipping. I have, I have Prime, so they were the shipping was free. Suki Sports came in at $42.99, but I actually got a 15% discount because it was my first time shopping on their site, plus $8 in shipping. And I'm pretty sure everybody can get that 15% discount the first time they get on Suki Sports site. And the black bibs were $40 plus $7 shipping. I'm fairly sure first time customers also get a discount from the black bibs, but I was not a first time customer from them. Now the day I ordered them all was February 22nd. So the first one to come in the mail were the Amazon bibs. They came two days later, followed closely by the black bibs, which came the next day. Now the Suki Sports bibs, because they were being shipped from China, took 14 days to get to me. So I did wait until the last set of bibs came so I could sort of unbox them all at the same time and compare them. And when they all arrived, opened them all up, compared them, tried them on for size, there were a few things that I initially noticed about each set of bibs that made them unique. Some things that I liked and didn't like. Uh, let's start with the Amazon bibs. I do tend to like a short or a bib short that has some grippy fabric down by the bottom of the leg. I just like the feel of it. It makes the shorts tend to not ride up. Also, it's very important how it fits around the midsection. Everybody is different in their size and shape. I'm kind of a hefty guy. 
So I didn't really want something that's super tight around my midsection. And the third thing that I'm looking for in the fit is the strap itself. And one thing I noticed about the Amazon bibs are the straps are really wide. Um, they're, they're just set really wide. And it's, it's a bit uncomfortable the way that it fit my torso. The Suki Sports also have that good grippy material around the leg. They have an interesting strap. It's really thin material, uh, really low profile. So when it sits under a jersey, it's not very noticeable. Also, the low profile of the strap tends to not dig into your shoulder. I do like that. The Suki Sports bibs kind of fit pretty loose around my midsection. I was hoping for something a little bit tighter. The black bibs, although they do not have that grippy material around the leg, I really do like the way they fit me overall. Uh, the straps aren't that low profile that the Suki Sports straps are, but they're also not really wide like the Amazon bibs. So if I'm going off fit alone, I like the way that the black bibs fit me. So the next thing that I did was for three days in a row, I hopped on my Tax Neo indoor bike and wore a set of bibs every day and did about a 20 mile ride. And my initial impressions off that 20 mile ride were that, you know, every short felt fine. You know, the chamois felt okay. Uh, the Amazon one has, it's the most thick of all of them, but it doesn't change in thickness like the more higher end chamois do. Of the three, the Suki Sports and the Black Bid Chamois felt better. One thing that I noticed about the Suki Sports bibs are that it not fitting around my midsection as well as I would have liked. When I leaned forward not wearing a jersey, I didn't like the way that it felt at that time. Uh, the Perswalski ones, those straps being so wide, it was just really uncomfortable. Overall though, for just like a 20 mile ride or maybe an hour to an hour and a half, none of them really hurt me in any way. I wasn't like radically uncomfortable wearing them. Although at the time I definitely did prefer the Suki Sports and the Black Bibs one fit wise. After wearing each set of bibs quite a bit indoors, I actually took them outdoors on a pretty extended road trip. So I wore each set of bibs on rides in New Orleans, on rides in Texas, and on rides in New Mexico. And the more miles that I put in these bibs, they definitely started showing their true colors. I really ended up not liking the Amazon bibs at all. They were really tight around my legs. The chamois pad wasn't really great for anything over 15 to 20 miles. And just those straps being so wide apart were very annoying. So me initially not liking the way that the Suki Sports bibs fit, once I got a jersey over it, I, it was a lot less noticeable how it fit around my midsection or kind of how loose those straps felt. And I felt like anything in the 50 mile range felt pretty good in those Suki Sports bibs. When it comes to the black bibs, I really had no complaints at all other than it not having that grippy material around the leg. Once again, I do know everybody is different in the way their body is and the way things fit them. But for me, the black bibs, it really feels good the way it fits my body. Black bibs are the ones at the time that I just felt fit me the best. And I have no complaints at all about their performance. One thing that I do want to add a note in this video is all of these companies have different washing and care instructions on how you treat these bibs. And I'm probably going to catch some trouble for this, but I believe in real world testing. I feel that just about all of us cyclists just throw our bibs in the laundry, even though we know we shouldn't. Just over time, you end up throwing everything in the laundry and washing it, throwing it in the dryer, even though you're not necessarily supposed to. So because I consider this to be a real world test, I laundered this just like I launder everything else, throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer. And over the course of the four months I've been riding these, all of them are holding up pretty well. I don't notice any seams coming apart or any stitching going funny, though the logo on the Amazon bibs is starting to flake off, which is, you know, kind of a little bit to be expected at this price point and the fact that I'm really not treating the way I should in the washer and dryer. 
So of all the bibs I just showed you, the ones that I like the best of the group are the pair by the black bibs. What I like about these bibs, I just like the way they fit me. Now understand that you might be different in the way they fit you. Uh, the straps, even though the Suki Sport straps are a lot more low profile, I just, I don't mind the way that these straps fit me. Uh, the chamois pad has been good. I've done century rides in these bibs before. Not having the grip material on the bottom of the bibs hasn't been a huge deal for me. I like it more when they do. So for that reason, I would say the Suki Sport bibs are a very close second. Um, the Amazon bibs, I can't recommend those at all. I didn't really like anything about them. They fit too tight. The straps were really far apart, which was uncomfortable. The chamois pad I wasn't wild about. For me, a good metric on a bib is if you have a long ride, which one do you grab? I notice that when I go out, I know what kind of ride I'm going to get into. And if it's going to be a long ride or a hard ride or a lot of climbing, I'll go for the black bibs and I'll go for the Suki Sport bibs and I won't touch those Amazon bibs. Basically, I grab the Amazon bibs if I know I'm going to have a really short ride or I'm going to put in just a few, bit, a few garbage miles, do a quick indoor spin, um, or everything else is dirty. And in fact, you know, I wouldn't grab those Amazon bibs for anything over maybe 15 miles. Um, like I said, black bibs, done century rides, Suki Sport bibs, I think if you're doing a metric century, you'll be plenty comfortable in those. Now, I do have a few more pairs of bibs that I'm going to be coming on and talking about here in the future. Since getting these three initial pairs of budget bibs, I did get one updated pair of bibs from the black bibs. And also, Suki Sports reached out to me and asked if I would try out their bib that has the pocket in them. So I'm going to do two separate review videos in the future talking about those bibs specifically. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining me today for my battle of the budget bibs. If you know of any other bibs that you'd like me to try out or any jerseys, helmets, anything of that nature, drop a line below in the comments. Um, I always want to put in unbiased reviews. I put in long term reviews. Like I said, I've been riding on these bibs for four months. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you did. I'm trying to push to get a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time.